Okay, let's get started to create a modifier group and assign it to other menu items. It takes more than a few steps, so watch carefully as we go through each one. First, navigate to the top middle section of your screen and click on Menu. Here you will see the modifiers listing. Click on it. We are going to create a new modifier group, so navigate to the left side of your screen and click on the green plus button that says Add Modifier Group. Type in your modifier group name, in this example, sandwich sauces. Select the minimum and maximum field and ensure that the show modifier group when item is added checkbox is selected. Click save changes and you will see your modifier group populate on the left side of your screen. You have just created a modifier group. Now it's time to move on to the next step which is adding modifier items to a modifier group. We've created sandwich sauces, so now it's time to add some. Navigate to the top section of your screen and click on Categories and Items. Here, you can search for items that you wish to add to your modifier group. In this example, I would like to add mango. I have searched for mango, and now I'm going to select it. Here, you need to do two steps. First, you are going to choose Modifier Item to create this item as a modifier item and unselect Menu Item so that when this item is being rung up at the point of sale, it will give the option for the cashier to choose to add this to another item. Next, you need to assign it to a modifier group. In this scenario, Sandwich Sauces. Click Done and save. You've just added a modifier item to a modifier group. To ensure that the modifier item is in the correct place, navigate to the top section of your screen and click on modifiers and select your modifier group, sandwich sauces, and here you can see mango, the modifier item we just added. When you're done, your screen should look just like this.